What did you do that for? Well, you told me to bring out my shooter if you didn't agree. Just scare him not to blow his fucking brains out, Jesus. No, it's... Well, he wouldn't do what you said. He wasn't going to drive well, us. Well, he's certainly not now, is he? Moron. Who are you calling a fucking moron? You, you moron. What, you learn how to drive, have you? Huh? You're going to drive us back to Melbourne after, are you? Go and get his body off the road before someone comes along. Well, why do I have to do it? Because you shot him. You deny you're a member of Norman Brune's gang? Norman who? Why'd you go drinking with him at Max? Max on Charlotte Lane. Never been there. Is that the best you got? You wouldn't want to try my best. Mr. Brum was dropped by taxi at Max in the company of a man he called Snowy. Moreover, the public and where you've been drinking earlier, he's identified you as one of Mr. Brum's most intimate and regular friends. You know what I think, Mr. Snowy, Catmore? I think you led your boss into a trap that night. I think you wanted Mr. Brum dead so he could get a bigger slice of his grubby standoff or pie. Oh, that Norman, bro. Aye. Oh, is his loyal fucking deputy. Is she? Where are the children? We can't help you now, sir. I've had a really shit day. I want to admit that I killed my girlfriend, Anastasia, that it was an accident. We were arguing, and I, uh, I had a brain snap, and I hit her, and I just kept hitting her. But I didn't mean to kill her. She, she kept pressuring me to come live with her and Brittany. Brittany's our daughter. Tell me. I just wanted it all out in the open. I just wasn't ready for that. I am so sorry. Everything's just on top of me. Face down! On the ground! I just wanted to chill. Face down! On the ground! Hands behind you! Hands behind you! Stay there! 